Why don't we <laughs> Go ahead. I, I really want to hear this. First, describe the problem. What was the problem? I think the problem was the fact that I like to spin. Mm -hmm. and, and we can't tell, but keep going. <laughs> and he likes to spin too, but he likes to be reasonable. Mm -hmm. And our first major problem was building a house back in Africa, right? We're from Africa, and you're supposed to take care of your parents. And his dad passed on, and my dad is still here. My parents are still here, and they're okay, and his mom is older, so he wanted to use that money to build a house for his mom. And I'm thinking, well, we need the money here, because I want to do this. I have a business I want to invest into. I have a women's conference. So you got two problems going. You got one. Yes. He wants to take care of his mother. Yes. And you want to go and open up a business yes. and, and yes. do your thing. So what happened? Where did? Well, I know that had to kind of make you go, okay, what in the hell have I done? What yeah. happened? How did it make you feel when that took place? Well, the, the truth about it is that... Um, we came to understand that this whole institution of marriage can never be a one-man thing. It's an institution. And just from the word itself, you get to understand that it takes two to tango. So this gathering, that conversation, we got to sit down and politely disagree to agree or politely agree to disagree. <laughs> it's got to be, you know, it's got to be one of the two. So we had to talk it out, and I had to basically put my kids on the table and understanding that we both want the institution to grow, and it got to a point where it had to be some give and takes. So I'm giving, and I'm taking, and she's giving too, and then we're both exchanging you know, some of the things that we need to let go. He had to call my father. I'm a daddy's girl, mm -hmm. so when, when we could not come to an agreement, because I thought spending money back home, that was not an investment. I wanted to invest the money. I mean, we're talking about $300,000 to build the kind of house that he wanted for his mother, who's old, and I'm thinking, well... So you're thinking, like, just, you're just, $100,000, she ain't going to be here that much longer. Yeah, I mean, yes, just refab the house, put some paint, change the floor. You are lucky you married an African man. Here's the flip side of it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, granted, she's not going to be here that long, but when she's gone, now we got something that we can hold on to. It's ours. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> We're not living in Africa. We're not going to live in And just thank y'all, if this is what's going on now, could you imagine how that conversation went? No, but here, here's something that you did right, right? In uh, one of my books, I, I was talking about conflict. I'm an expert on conflict. And that's the first thing that you have to do. You have to remain purpose driven. And what you said is you stop and you decategorize this thing from being me and you to something that's bigger than both of us. And you looked at it, and I love the word you use, institution. You know what I mean? And so institution, we, we got another word that comes from that, instruction. And we had to figure out what are the instructions that we can both agree on that we're gonna use to construct this relationship. So after you did that, how did you feel when the decision was made? Was there any remorse? Were there any latent hard feelings? Did this, or is this something that every now and then keeps resurfacing? What's up with it? No, no, there, there wasn't any remorse per se. And like she rightly says, she's daddy's girl. So um, when I had to go beyond just us, and I get to talk to her dad, and of course, there were conversations that I had with her dad that was manly. Mm -hmm. That means that he told his dad a little something strange. All right, keep going. And we had we had this understanding, and dad was like, "No way, I got it. I'll call her." Uh -huh. So dad stepped in, spoke with her, and everything was good. So uh, there's no remorse. I think at the end of the day, like we say, the institution of marriage is stronger than the people that make up the institution. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. And I think probably the father-in-law didn't have an issue because you had $300,000. <laughs> um, 